that not many wise men after the flesh. Meaning not many wise men that we esteem as wise or studious, they're not going to be called into this truth. That's some heavy stuff. Because you would think they will be the ones that would have the knowledge already, the insight or the secrets of wisdom. You would think that they be the ones that God will call. He says, no, I'm not calling them. Not many mighty. The mighty of them, the mighty of them. He says, I know they look mighty like a boxer. Who was I looking at? Mike Tyson the other night. I watched a video with him. He said, he was getting on Dr. Umar Johnson. He was saying that Dr. Umar Johnson is wrong about black men. Dr. Umar Johnson says that uh, black men should not marry white women. Biblical, by the way. The brother Mike Tyson got on the TV with the rapper Freddie Gibbs and said that's wrong. He shouldn't say that. He's, he's stupid for saying that. So the Most High is not calling spirits like that. Because he don't understand nothing. He don't understand. I like him as an athlete, but he's not our leader. Two thousand years after the departure of Jesus the Christ. The prophets are back. To teach the real Jews, the 12 tribes of Israel, their true nationality. This is their campaign. On that too, because Dwayne Wade is how tall, six four, six, uh, six, six, six four, uh, six five, and he's a big dude, shooting guard, like a little six four, six five dude. He's, well, give me that First Corinthians one about mighty. Just want to show you something. First Corinthians chapter one, verse twenty six. Yeah, this brother. For you see your calling, brethren. For you see your calling, brethren. The calling is us trying to teach the people. The Most High is what does the calling. He uses his servants to do the calling. Meaning not many wise men that we esteem as wise or studious, they're not going to be called into this truth. That's some heavy stuff. Because you would think they will be the ones that would have the knowledge already, the insight or the secrets of wisdom. You would think that they be the ones that God will call. He says, no, I'm not calling them. Not many mighty. The mighty of them, the mighty of them. He says, I know they look mighty like a boxer. Who was I looking at? Mike Tyson the other night. I watched a video with him. He said he was getting on Dr. Umar Johnson. He was saying that Dr. Umar Johnson is wrong about black men. Dr. Umar Johnson says that uh, black men should not marry white women. Biblical, by the way. The brother Mike Tyson got on the TV with the rapper Freddie Gibbs and said that's wrong. He shouldn't say that. He's he's stupid for saying that. So the Most High is not calling spirits like that because he don't understand nothing. He don't understand. I like him as an athlete, but he's not our leader. Read on. But God have chosen the foolish things. So, not many mighty. Not many noble are called. Not many noble. The, these are people of nobility. Kings, princes, princesses, those of us of our people that have status in this world. That's what that's going into. They are not also called. Billionaires and all of that are black. Millionaires and athletes. Those are people that got land everywhere. Most I says not, not them. Your Jay-Z's, your entertainers and your people that can, like Jay-Z right now, there's, he has Barack Obama's phone number in his, in his phone. He's 
he's not he has not been called yet into the truth not saying he can't repent but the most High is not really going to be calling those type of spirits you got that but God have chosen the foolish things of the world the foolish things of the world is us the foolish of us the lowest of us that's who God is going to call those of us that was not going to be mighty or wise or noble that's who God is calling the foolish to confound the wise he's going to give the foolish power to confound people that are wise on the earth to, to confound the wise, and God has chosen the weak things of the world. To confound things that are mighty. So the weak, that's us. That's what that's referring to. That's why when they play Israelites, whatever, we the foolish of the world. People think we're crazy. Some of us call us hate groups. Some of us say that we um we we have secret plots against the God. We don't have none of that. But here's the power. We've been doing this for years. I remember when it was like 40 of us, now it's thousands of Israelites now. Thousands of Israelites. So we're, we're growing. We're growing. But you know what? It's still not over yet. We're all coming to win very soon. You could say in the next, you could, it's 20 years of, or less, we don't know. We can feel it. It's getting worse. I feel it. It's getting worse. It's never been as bad as it was before. It's getting worse. And base things of the world. Give me that scripture in Revelation about that judgment to those that hurt the earth. Find me that in Revelation. Because look, in church, do you do you you read the Bible? Do you understand the book of Revelation? Okay, good. I'm gonna tell you. Well, I'm gonna tell you something. The Book of Revelation is one of the keys for us to understand when the end of the world is. The church don't teach the Book of Revelation because they don't understand it. But when you go here, you're gonna understand the key of when and why the world is going to end. Not the world. The United States is coming to an end. I will, I'll say it like that. You found it? Read this. Watch this. Revelation. Start verse 8. To the 11 and verse 8. Revelation 11 and 8. Watch this. I want you, if you ever read this, I want you to read this. Watch this. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. What is that talking about? This place is like Sodom and it's like Egypt also. So where is this? What place is that? That's America. What does it mean, dead bodies? Revelation, give me Proverbs 21. Was it 16? What does it mean, dead bodies? Because you read dead bodies and you think the walking dead, zombies, you think of that. It says, The dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. Well, also our Lord was crucified. Where was he crucified? Jerusalem. So this place is going to have attributes of Jerusalem, Sodom, and Egypt. Watch this. Proverbs chapter 21, verse 16. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding. This is Proverbs 21 and 16. Read it again. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. So the man that has no understanding is dead. Look around you. Look at our people. We are dead mentally. We're not there yet. We're not there. So watch this. That's why you hear like on the end of that they say things like woke. People that are woke. So what's the dead bodies now? I love you. I love you. I want to ask one question. What's, what does it all mean? Okay, I'm answering it now. Now read this. And their dead bodies shall lie in the great in the street of the great city. So we're gonna break it down piece by piece. The dead bodies is who? 
That's the people without understanding. The people, which people? Israel without understanding. This is the Israelites yeah. that have no understanding. So their dead bodies are lying in the... What does it mean to lie down? Are we literally you know? lying down? No, we're in oppression. We're in oppression. We're being ruled. People are ruling over us. Which I've said, give me that scripture, which I've said to thy souls, bow down. Give me that. Isaiah 51 and 20. I just want to know what this all what does it all mean? Come, come, brother. I want you to hear this. They're going over the book of Revelation. You ever read the book of Revelation? It, it, Watch this. Tell me what this means. Isaiah chapter 51, verse 20. Thy sons have fainted. Thy sons have fainted. It's saying the same thing. Meaning thy sons are dead. Meaning understanding wise. They're fainted. Meaning we lost the understanding of who we are. We don't know the spirit of God is in us. We don't know. They lie at the head of all the streets as a wild bull in the night. As a wild what? Bull. So how do we excuse get it me, back? Excuse me. As a wild bull in the net. Crazy. We wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ever see the bull? How crazy it is? That's just black people right now. Hispanics. As a wild bull in the net. They are full of the fury of the Lord. They are beautiful by God. But I will put it into the hand of them that afflict me, who afflicted us as a people, white people in slavery day. Which I've said to thy soul, bow down. We bow down spiritually. A lot of our souls is bowed down. We may be tough, we may be gangster, whatever. Was our souls are still broken in this place? Right. When we say our soul is right. still broken in America. Do we still cry when we see oppression? We still cry when cops do us dirty? We, we cry when people get killed? We're still broken. No matter how tough we believe we are, we're still human beings. But we're being afflicted. You understand that, yeah. right? Yeah. Go back to Revelation now. You got me. Yeah. Try to break this down very easily because Revelation is not easy to understand. Read it. Revelation chapter 11, verse 8. Read it clearly. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city. So what is that going into? The dead bodies is who? The, the dead Israelites. Bodies is Israel without understanding. Yes. Go ahead. Which spiritually is called Sodom and Sodom. Why Sodom? Sodom is called Sodom. We have the LG. That's what you see here. Gay men walking around in dresses and skirts, fake breasts. That's what we're going to see in America in the last days. The scriptures say that. You couldn't say that this was Sodom back in 1840 because that didn't happen yet. It had to come to pass. You understand that, right? Because back in the 1800s, homosexuality was illegal. You probably get killed for doing that. But in this time, you're going to see it being promoted on your TV, your school. That's why most of us, our, our kids, is homeschool. We don't want our sons to be homo and all of that. Because a teacher coming in here telling you, Dad, my, my Peter has two dads and all that foolishness. So that's what you're going to see in this time. You're going to see men gay. You're going to see females lesbian. You're going to see all of that. It's going to get worse. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth